Hello, hello, everybody, it's your Prof Trough, and we're back again with another video by the Russian Badger. Y'all were like, yo, go check out the earlier Payday 2 videos, because he explains more, he plays more normal, and ain't too much wild shit. But he also has this video, Warhammer 40k Space Marine, a 40k game I kind of want to play. But I'm kind of afraid of playing another 40k game after the last one we played, because that shit was hot garbage for me. I didn't enjoy it at all. Necromunda, Necrotrasha, that don't make sense, I'm sorry, so let's go. So purge heretics and steal property, and I already stole your property, Damn. so let's do this. Face your heresy! Yo, why is he so much bigger oh, yeah, than yours? Welcome to the grim darkness of the future, where fun isn't allowed, happiness is banned, peace doesn't exist, and True. there's only war. There's only Abandon war. reason! No, only war! In this war, it's us versus them. Damn. Us being the Imperium of Man, led by the Almighty Emperor himself. There is no shelter for those who oppose the Imperium of Man. And oh, them being boy. anybody that isn't us. For the sake of simplicity, we'll just call them Xenos. Xenos. And, and what's some the only humans. thing defending us from them, you and might chaos. ask? Space Marines! Get off my ship, Space well. Marines! Space Marines! Space Marines! Genetically Oof. modified, just like the vegetables at the grocery store, only instead of staying <laughs> ripe for long periods of time, they're crafted by the Emperor to purge heretics. <laughs> yes. Die. We're talking artistic. two hearts. We're talking three lungs. We're talking night vision. We're talking eight foot tall, 800 pound... Acid spit that can go through iron, I think. Monsters that look like Hulk Hogan ate Boogie 2988 and covered himself in a steel suit of armor the size of a Range Rover. We are the bringers of death! Think of them as religion-fueled death machines hell-bent on exterminating any race that isn't human, while yes. also not being racist. Racist? Space Marines aren't racist, we love all races. As long as they don't have green skin. Eat bolt gun! Or, you know, belong to a different religion. <laughs> I don't know why anyone would call us racist. I fully agree. No one's racist. As long as there are a race. I'm a black not priest racist. for Emperor's sake. Even gods may die! We don't hate any races, except orcs, and Eldar, and Dark Eldar, and Necrons, and Tau, because nobody likes dumbass weeaboo space communists. But at they least they are trying to eat us like the Tyranids. They have Glossing over all that lore that you don't need to understand. One such chapter of Space Marines are the Ultra Marines. Her if we're being because honest, Ultra Smurfs. That are charged with exterminating the orcs on one of your manufacturing planets that are stealing your shit. Clever of the damned orcs. How important is this shit that they're stealing, you might ask? It don't matter. Value absolute. I just say, it don't matter. It's orcs. They no, gotta be I'm, cute. I'm guessing that's pretty important. Important then? Strategic value absolute. That doesn't make things any clearer for the audience. Strategic value absolute. You occupy the it's role absolute, of Captain bro. Titus, a soft-spoken junior officer voiced by the legendary Mark Strong that's joined by an OG sergeant and a turbo nerd subordinate named Leandros that constantly Leandros. hounds you about not following a dipshit rulebook called a codex. Is that wise, Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Shut the fuck up, Leandros. For the Emperor! To be perfectly clear, I beat the entire game once in its default state and had so much of a blast, I beat it again immediately afterwards, only really? with mods out the ass. So instead of playing as a calm and collected crit marine... Hey, bro, come on. I like my blue marines. My smurfs, they cute as hell, bro. This game got mods? I played as a Blood Marine, which, uh, if I'm being honest, was a slightly age, yeah. different experience. I scum! No prisoners! For the Emperor! So if you're about to write this video off as heresy or confusing, I understand. I just grew up playing an RTS called Dawn of War and would rather play as a Blood Raven than an Ultramarine Smurf Blueberry. None of this is really important unless they're purging and also spoiler alert, transitions are weird. The orcs invading okay. your planet and trying to steal your huge ass titan tank are a super diverse bunch. Rob, please tell me it's from fun. puny little orc children that shouldn't even exist. Hey, get back here. Don't from plants, they're fucking plants. Don't run away from me. Why do you even exist? Warhammer is weird. Why? All the way up to the orc Damn. war boss Grimskull himself, who was Grimskull. basically Shrek in his final form. You try to steal my giants, but he came to our swamp. Loot, I'll rip your guts right out your throat. He 
equally wow. as diverse the weapons at your disposal to eradicate them with, from a dinky bolter pistol all the way to a heavy bolter, because when it comes Ooh. to orcs, the caliber you're firing can never be too high. The bigger the better. Heavy bolter for this heresy. The quickest sex. way to purge through scores of orcs? Melee. Getting up close and personal is not only uh. the fastest way to cut through a horde of orcs with single, double, and triple hit combos, but believe it or not, it's how space marines heal. Yeah, that's what? right. These guys are so draconian, they don't need to pick up health kits because the enemies are the health kits. <laughs> hey, this looks fun. This game actually looks fun. Just crump some no, poor orc, mash your stun key until garbage, the orange but... skull pops up and execute his ass for Oof. a speedy and convenient health boost. This Die actually looks fun. Oh. Your melee weapon of choice is a trade-off between speed and damage. Like the chainsword is agile and great for cutting things, while you're huh. also simultaneously already cutting things, but it's less potent against heavy armor. I am cutting things even though I was already cutting things. Uh, On the other the hand, cutter. or rather Cut. with both uh. hands, the thunder hammer handles as awkwardly as a bus, yeah, but it also awesome. hits like a bus, <laughs> running a stop sign in a school zone. Hey yo, Orc, are you Elon Musk? I'm about to send your ass into outer space. And you've got a power axe in between those two extremes. Oh, you have another one. I can't one. explain why, but it feels like you're competing in a figure skating slash rhythmic gymnastics Damn. competition when hey, you use it. What, I'm oh, oddly what is this? Female space marines? Not in my 40k. Okay with that. Oh, if you want to get fancy, you can melee three times and mash stun to curb stun multiple enemies and choke slam any motherfucker still standing. Oh, he's playing as a... So it's safe to Fuck, say I that forgot what those guys were called. The, the special Emperor most definitely does approve. I said, save so I think I stunned too oh. hard. I'm stuck in the terrain. Oh, fuck. Brother. Brother. Brother, I am stuck in the terrain. Oh. Step bro, are you stuck? Step bro, step space for are you stuck? Captain Diomedes when you need him. <laughs> brother, 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 I am pinned here. Eventually, stuck you'll realize you can just slice your way through the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> chaos Marines and their pedantic. Oh, there's Chaos Marines. <laughs> that noise. Fucking Psyker. Defeat me! And you'll need to start firing guns if you want to survive. All right. More specifically, Ooh, they got bolters. Bolters, brothers! If you call this thing an assault rifle, I'm gonna break your arms because it may be used like an assault rifle. Only instead of firing a 223 the size of a crayon or a 308 the size of your finger, it fires a 998, which should actually be a 75 cal according to the lore. That's essentially like firing a self-propelled can of Red Bull that explodes after penetrating its target, making it almost into an assault rifle RPG hybrid. Perfection. How many fucking robots does this place have? Are we invading on Imperial yes. Outposts or Amazon headquarters? I should have never canceled my prime. You have downward variants and upward variants, like the Bolter pistol in case you've got something heavy in your hands, and my personal favorite, the Stalker sniper. Bolter, which is the most satisfying sniper Oof. rifle I've ever had the privilege of using. Just like Sesame Street, you ready? And one, and two, and not oh, three, damn not four. It. Oh, five. god damn it. I'm really glad that all Dude, the orders so are about to be first. This looks so fun to play, god damn. Positively okay, we're have playing to spend as many rounds as possible. The Storm Bolter does exist, Storm which is Bolter. like a double-barreled LMG. That's cool for the first five minutes that you use it. The rate of fire of the Storm Bolter? Perfection. The accuracy of the Storm Bolter? Perfect. Yeah, just put them anywhere that's remotely close to a target. I don't really give a shit. <laughs> but better alternatives do exist because the game uh -huh. gives you four slots consisting of a primary, secondary, long range, and plasma guns. I kept the standard bolter and stalker bolter throughout most of the game because sometimes one bolter just isn't enough to True. stop a horde of orcs trying to crump your bolters. ass into outer space. I'm gonna need two bolters for this heresy. But once Keep I started wheel. fighting the forces of chaos, I dropped the stalker for the Lost last cannon. cannon. Or Laze King, Last aka cannon. the Space Marine Spartan Laser, that was clearly superior because here's me killing a Chaos Marine with a Bolter. Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh damn! Thank can thank. I was starting to think he was invincible there for a second. Jesus. And here's me doing the same deed with a Laz Cannon slash Laze Cannon. 
by the Emperor that's powerful. For your heavy slot, it's oh. all about the Vengeance Launcher, which fires sticky nades that you can personally detonate, because who wants to launch rockets when you can launch Vengeance? A Vengeance Launcher. <laughs> that sounds promising. Even a flame-bursting <laughs> shotgun exists, but all of these specialized oh. weapons rip through ammo at an incredible pace, so oh. skills is the way to go. Burn them in flame! Burn in holy fire! Navigating the levels is obviously yes. done by either running oh, or midgets. pulling. Don't Those ask me how people. the hell these characters roll in this much armor. It's a long story. But channeling your inner Dark Souls character to kite enemies or get to objectives faster is a significant portion Looks like the role from Mass Effect It's even Korea useful in bit. boss fights because who the needs smoother. to kill orcs when you can just roll out of the way and have orcs kill themselves? Here Wait, he what? comes! Here he comes! Here he comes! Oh, the big... Oh, damn! Hey, how does it feel like a crumped by a member of your own? I mean, they don't On care. that note, there they are even these it. little Mike Wazowski looking dudes called oh, Squigs that squigs explode on here. impact and are arguably better at killing orcs than you are. So this theme of orcs <laughs> killing themselves is not a new phenomenon. Come on, Squig Merch. Merch on the group. Oh, that's Get hilarious. Get in there. Yeah. But as I was saying, you won't always be running or rolling through the terrain because eventually Yo, you'll gain so access heavy. to a jump pack, which when combined with a thunder hammer is like an NBA dunk contest oh. mixed with Super Smash Brothers. Outside of LeBron, five seconds left. LeBron leaps. Oh, my oh. LeBron James with a complete disregard for orc life. Feel the Emperor's wrath. No! Oh. This jump pack also happens to be wonderful at getting you places in record time. It's almost like using unbridled rage as a mode of transportation. It looks a little bit like uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, but the old one. Y'all remember that? They had uh, some troopers that could use this. It was fucking awesome. And now that you know what you're swinging, shooting, and zooming around with, there's one thing that enhances everything. And that's called Fury. If being Fury. a space marine wasn't already super soldier enough, you can channel Fury, which builds up as you purge heretics and, well, deliver merciless justice upon the enemies of humanity. Perfection. That means your health surges. That means you hit harder. That means you turn 30 seconds of hacking and slashing into a 10 second nightmare for any enemies in your general vicinity, punctuated with curb stomps that are extra earth trembling. Oh, that never oh. gets old. This fury becomes more and more powerful as the game goes on and there's even a marksman mode. So if you a ever wanted to enter mode. a slow motion bullet time mode as a badass space marine, here's your shot. <laughs> aspect of the game that I love more than the combat, movement, and gear Bosses? are the objectives. Oh. I'm pretty sure every objective in the game is either three words or four words, <laughs> and that's the way it should be. Those guardsmen cannot survive that long. We find a way to destroy the gun. So you may be able to criticize some stretches of the game for being just running and rolling between elevators. Hey look, I'm on a lift. Does anybody know if repeatedly rolling or sprinting is faster? <laughs> I've been at this 200 years, Speed I still don't know. Hey look, a lift! But it focuses on what it's good at, which is violent purging and eradicating oh, any life form that doesn't slam, look bitch. like you. Ah, stop resisting! I don't think you can resist I'm anymore. I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I would say sorry for hitting you so hard that the game glitched, but I don't apologize to Xenos. The story isn't all that important, seeing as the game only takes five to six hours to beat, and the oh, best character is Orc Warboss Grimskull, because he's the only character that doesn't put me to sleep with her monologuing. <laughs> wow. Haha. <laughs> 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 With you yet, Ice Marine! Uh. pretty well for an orc. <laughs> ah. Not that my second playthrough was any better, because with all the mods I was running, none of the story made any sense. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. It is the Bane Blade! You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. That and as you as seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. Engaging warp spider! Ah! 
A warp spider! But at least you get to hook up with some blood ravens to cleanse an entire bridge in the end sequence, and given their oh. history of kleptomania, I'm shocked they didn't steal anything. Hippity hoppity, Maybe where the did. fuck is my property? <laughs> You're gonna hate the final boss fight with Mimroth, who's obsessed <laughs> with becoming ascended for reasons that I won't spoil, but again, this game is about the gameplay, not about the story. Damn it, I had something for this. Uh, something, something, crash his way! It's not about the plotting, it's about the purging! The end. As a 40k it, game I go, should be. I wanted be. to mention, as of me recording this video right now, as a 40 it is game $7 on Steam. This is in no way a sponsored All video. Right? I'm pretty sure Relic, oh, like the guys it. that made it, don't even exist anymore. Of course, Damn. Sega still exists, but I don't think Relic is around anymore. So from an Damn. unbiased position, if you have $7 on you that you're not going to spend on your next meal, I highly recommend that you pick it up. As long as you don't okay. let a bunch of turbo nerds drown you in lore that takes lifetimes to understand, that Warhammer is so 40k true. is fascinating. That is so, so fucking again, true, though. Seven dollars? Alright. Well, we're playing this. After I finish the current Terrain World playthrough, we're doing this. Five hours, probably can do it in one stream. Seems very fun. Okay, we're doing that. God damn, it looks fun. I hope it's not like Necromanda. God damn it, I hope it's not. Anyway, quick thank you to YouTubers and Patreons. Thank you all for the support. I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Go check out uh, Russian Badger. He's pretty cool. And uh, he's got Gura in the back. Gura, and I uh, yeah, have a nice day, everybody. Bye bye.